Howdy folks, welcome back to another Yakuza adventure, this time with Majima. We are stuck in what I would describe a side quest sandwich, as we jump around between the whole weapon acquiring minigame and this little girl's quest to get every toy inside Sega High Tech Land. Which I recently learned is kind of a going away thing, like Sega arcades still exist, but they're, most of them aren't called High Tech Land anymore. In fact, I saw a bunch of pictures of uh, modern high-tech lands, and they all look about 20 years <laughs> outdated. At least they're outside veneer, <laughs> these freaking places. But anyway, let's get some, we're gonna move on with this. Which one is it now? Uh. Daddy, you scared me. <laughs> you really got an eye for these dolls, don't ya? It's just... The pink Bunchan looks really pretty. Pretty or not, didn't I tell you how dangerous this area can get? You're not looking for trouble, are ya? No, I'm sorry. Here we go again. A pink Bunchan, huh? I'll see if I can get her one. Let's dance along in, yeah. Like, the article I found listed, like, maybe a dozen Sega high-tech clans anymore. And I didn't recognize the place names, so the couple of Sega places I've seen, I think, are not... ...are not these. Okay. The real challenge here is, I don't know what Bunchan is, um... It's gonna be something pink. So it could be that pink axolotl-looking thing? Or that... Pigeon. Oh gosh, if it's the pigeon, that's gonna be impossible for us to grab. It's perfectly shaped to avoid being caught by the freaking claw. Oh well, let's do this. It'll take us several tries. That's That much is clear, but we are going to endeavor to grab this damn pigeon. I mean, I got super lucky last time grabbing both of the uh, cookie squirrels with single tries, but... I'm not gonna hold out hope that I'm gonna pull a hat trick and catch this thing on the third go. Like, that would be literally imp- Am I... Am I in heaven right now? Is this a dream? I just caught three toys on a single go in the claw machine. What? Ma'am, your machines are broken. They're supposed to be scamming me out of my money by making me spend like 20 coins just to grab one dinky toy. Damn. Well, it looks like the real challenge there was trying to figure out which toy is Bunchan, and I think we got it. Bunchan, the Java Sparrow. Is that a real sparrow? I'll, I will check at some point. It's cute and chubby. Uh, despite that, I caught it rather handily. What? You're still staring at that Boonchan doll? Huh? Uh, yeah, I am. I have one of those pink Boonchan dolls now. Maybe I ought to give it to her. There you go. A bouncy little Boonchan. You handed over the Boonchan the Java Sparrow. Pink. Wow! A real pink Boonchan. Thank you so much. Wow, it looked a lot smaller in the machine. That's a pretty big toy. Say, how come you like dolls so much? Oh, I I'm just all alone when I'm home. Having my squirrels around feels like I have friends over. That's why dolls are the best. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. And now Boonchan gets to join the family. Thanks for everything, Daddy. I'm gonna take such good care of them. Yeah, yeah. Now, off you go. Back to your mom. Okay, bye-bye. Maybe now the tea party's complete. No reason for her to hang around here anymore, I hope. Except that the meter is still a little bit off, so... Ooh, my pager. Okay. Sp here, speaking of the devil, of the freaking... The, uh... <laughs> Side quest sandwich that I mentioned? It looks like my weapon delivery has arrived. Now, there is gonna be a cap to this at some point. Either I max out her friendship bar, or I run out of money commissioning uh, these teams to search for weapons for me. And quite honestly, I don't usually, like, finish these 
kind of involved side quests in video games. So I'm actually going to bounce around these. It won't be that much longer. And then we'll be able to move with the main quest. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Cool. I need to buy stuff for that. So that's right. It's a. Uh, I forget her name. Longhua. That's right. She's the one who handles the weapon things. That's right. Okay. Cool. Track down the location of a dangerous insurgent cabal. The office sign was so dirty, it was illegible. Inside, the shady group was waiting for me. Oh no, Takeshi, did you beat them by having a crazy optical course? Greeted in a very promising way. Resounding success! Mission went even better than hoped. Good job, Takeshi. Wow, you're looking really young in that picture, by the way. You look like... You look like Japanese pro Jared in that picture. <laughs> That's kind of funny. We got an old stun gun. That's cool. You'll come again soon. I will. I'll come again right now. Let's see... What could I make? So this eats up some timber, this eats up some iron, but I got both of them, which means I can just buy them a stun gun, eh? I wonder if I can equip that. That could be fun. I need to start using these uh, things I get, yeah? I want to send out an agent. So I'll do this a little faster than last time, because um, I'm just going to go these in order, and then we're going to go on our crazy... Uh, adventure abroad but first let's wrap things up here in actually no let's go by price actually because i'm a cheapskate like that oh, let's go to western europe yeah 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 because freaking this hanafubuki family costs more or the ganges delta oh that's kind of fun let's go to western europe famous big cities and tourist destinations with mafia families pulling strings from the shadows what kind of weapons could I get at a soccer stadium? Is there a soccer ball weapon in this game? An English soccer stadium and a battlefield for overzealous fans. Oi! You fucking hard, mate! I'm fucking hard! I'm as hard as my team, Liverpool! So get fucked, mate! I'll fucking cut you if you don't like Liverpool! Okay, let's see who we can get. We're gonna get a backpacker? A professional wrestler? Or an ex-mafia? Oh my god, a professional wrestler in uh, Britain. Is it gonna be uh, William Regal? That'd be amazing. Don't worry, I'll find you a weapon that you can beat Triple H with. Huh. I, I, that's my favorite thing about William Regal, is when he talks about Triple H. He always, he always pronounces it the super British. Triple H. Oh, he's lucky find his knuckles. It is William Regal. Except this is the 80s, so I guess he totally would not have been... A, Oh, no, wait, no, the Mafia's the ex-Mafia. He's still in the business. That's right, it's me, young William Regal. I can meet your rates, Mr. Majima. I will find you the items you need. Okay, this is actually, speaking of eating up my budget, this is gonna destroy my budget. Um, no, I'm not gonna actually use my this base money. We'll leave with, uh, 10k. Uh. Toodaloo! Mr. Majima? And if always if I'm like getting strapped for cash, I can always sell off some of my stuff here. Interesting, the sprite belt. I forgot to equip that. That's really good. Slows down weapon degradation? Yeah, yeah, we, we saw that last time, but I forgot all about it because I keep forgetting the many things I'm supposed to do in this game, so... Oh, that's an accessory. Cool, it adds to basically everything. Neat, I'll take it. Slows down the durability loss of weapons. And, well, we got a ton of little toys to play with. Apparently I cannot use the nunchucks. I don't know why. The dagger, though, that's fine. And the lumber, that's kind of fun. No, we're, we're going with the dagger for now. And, uh... Not a great stun gun, apparently. Wow, the dagger's most second most powerful. If you look at the uh, damage values, oh, there, the attack value. The freaking lumber's the weakest, which I don't know. I'm, I guess it's true because a dagger is a freaking bladed weapon, which you know in a in a street fight is super dangerous. I'm just used to like you know fantasy games where the dagger is like a really, really low tier weapon that's like sacrifices damage for like speed and like dexterity and stuff 
So, like, I'm not used to it being, like, the powerhouse, but... Someone is in trouble. Something going on over here? Eh, I don't know. It's not my business. Oh, here we I figured this would happen. I told you, brah. Now she's crying. Oh, no. <sighs> what the? It's that doll girl bawling her eyes out. Oh, is she the one that's been yelling? Oh, no. What's the matter, scamp? Huh? Oh, no. Bunchan, is that freaking stuffing coming out of it? What is this? The doll I gave you got all messed up. Who did this? I want names. My mom. My mom. My mom's gonna get killed. What? The scary man who came to take money showed up. But this time they took her away. And they did this to your do Oh, that's Majima. Whoopsies. <laughs> okay. And they did this to your doll, huh? Do you have any idea what they took your mom? Down by the river, I think. All right. Come on, kiddo. We gotta bust a move. Holy, this... This went from zero to a hundred at the drop of a dime. This is, uh, <laughs> wow. Oh, cool. We just get the fast travel there. Stop it. I already paid you back everything I borrowed. What are you talking about, you dozy cow? We lent you a million yen, remember? But I paid it all back by the due rate. Uh, due rate. Due date. Huh? Are you really that dense? You ain't paid a drop of the interest yet. <laughs> by my calculation, that's about 13 million yen left to pay. And we want it back now. 13 million? I could never. Yeah. Guess you leave us no choice then. You're young enough still. Should earn us plenty of cash out on the street. Oh my god, this... I said this went from 0 to 100. Now it's going from like 100 to... <laughs> to like... 10,000. This is... This is like... When this game wants to be messed up, it is so messed up. No! And I know plenty of sickos who'd pay top dollar for the little kid you got. Oh! I am... I am not enjoying this game right now. This is... Ugh! What? You can't... Those are the terms of the deal. You work for us until every last yen is paid back. Got it. Your brat's gonna fetch a pretty <laughs> price, too. Probably bring in more than you! <laughs> Leave her alone! My daughter! She's the only family I have left! Please, at least spare her. Please. Man, freaking that knife is gonna come out so fast once Majima turns up on the scene, let me tell you. Hey, get her out of here! The kid will be out in front of that arcade like usual. I'll go scoop her up! Gotcha! Oh, no need for that. Huh? And who are you? You ain't here to give us lip about the way we do business, are ya? Hmm? I don't give a flying shit about your business. You can do whatever the hell you want. Then you're smarter than you look. How about you leave the kid and scram, then? Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. See, there's two types of people in this world that really set me off. Huh? Dipshits who tear up dolls that I went through a lot of trouble to get a hold of. And fuckwits who prey on defenseless women because it makes them feel big. I just noticed we're fighting by um, Kotaro's uh, little doghouse again. Poor dog. This is the roughest part of Osaka by the looks of it. You fit both of those bills, asshole! What, you motherfucker? You gotta screw loose, you skinny runt. Cause you're begging to get your neck broke. Neck broke, you say? Well, I can provide that. Shut your mouth and put up your fists so I can hurry up and beat the shit out of ya. Let's go, baby. No, I don't want the baseball bat. 
This calls for the knife, so let's freaking... Yeah! It's old classic Majima! Oh my god! Hope you didn't need that spleen, baby. Yeah, you better. Just gonna use some moves that I've learned, but never mind. Finished him off. <laughs> yeah, you better hold your guts. Oh! Hey, I ain't done with you yet. I still gotta tear you up as badly as you tore up that poor doll. Oh! Have mercy! Now, yeah, come on! I was just getting to the fun part. Daddy! Hey, you alright? Hmm? Dad. Yeah, this is the man who brought me all the dolls, Mommy. I call him Daddy. Oh, so that was you. My daughter talks about you all the time. Um, I don't suppose I could ask your name. Sure, it's Majima. Majima-san, you've done so much for us. I don't know how to thank you. It was nothing, really. This is a little token of my appreciation. Please accept it. A security wallet? Oh? Appreciated, lady. Daddy, I'm sorry. Huh? What's wrong, Scamp? I told you I'd take good care of the dolls, but... Please don't be mad at me. Why would I be mad at you? It ain't your fault. Don't even sweat it. But... Listen. Even with its eye coming off and cuts all over, it ain't like it's dead. Its heart's still beating. I can feel it. Really? Yeah. Heck, I'm living proof, ain't I? Take a look. One eye's gone, but I'm doing just fine. <laughs> You're right. When Boonchan got messed up, he didn't throw it away, right? You're still clutching it close. It looks pretty happy about that, if you ask me. Really? I'm gonna fix him up and keep him safe, then. Yeah, you do that. I better get going. Thank you for everything, Majima-san. Wow. That was a really great story. I liked it. Except for the part where it went way too real. Thanks, Daddy. Daddy. <laughs> it's got a nice ring to it. And we got a- I was like thinking like, I hope we get a cool reward for putting in the time in this quest. And we got a security wallet. Let, let's see what that does. This wallet drastically reduces the amount of money lost when you get shaken down. It is also said to give you financial luck. Fascinating, and it seems to give you stats as well. Oh yeah, look at that. So I guess I'm done with my card quest now? Uh, I don't know, because uh... You know, it seems like I want the big bold stats, and I guess I guess that talks about Mr. Shakedown, it says Shaken Down. So that's cool. I can find some use for that. Anyway, also another thing I need to check is my pager. Oh, what do you know? William Regal's done with his quest. That was weird. That only took five minutes. I assumed that the um, more expensive quests abroad would uh, take a longer time because of, you know... It being, um, you know, it being, like, abroad, but, like, William Regal takes care of shit fast. Man, uh, he's, he's a wrestler I really like, William Regal, so, you know, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm okay with this. A huge stadium rises above rows of brick houses, but under its shadow, I encountered a shady individual. He beckoned me to follow him. Good reception, greeted in a very promising way. And a resounding success. Mission went better than hoped. I got gauntlets? Like like knight's gauntlets and contact lenses. Okay. I got some more funny parts. You come again soon. What's my budgetary? I got 3k actually. Let's look at my abilities. Oh, right, that's right, I'm like, I need 4k just to get this stuff, and 
so I'm not even... But I could commission, I could once again waste my money on yet another mission for them, which I think I might do, actually, because I'm stupid like that. First, I need to look at my collection. I'm starting to fill up on weapons here, maybe a bit too many. So this long lumber actually has less damage than the lumber? So it just has longer range? Curious. Um, I'm actually gonna scrape up some money because I'm, uh... Gonna s what, I'm gonna make room in my inventory. Oh, here's the contact lenses. Isn't... what? That's weird. Where are these to pr protect against bladed weapons? Oh, that's cool! I see, so you can block blade attacks with that. Very cool. Yes, Mr. Majima, I'm sure you'll appreciate these uh, fine medieval Arthurian gauntlets. It was no trouble at all finding them from that soccer stadium. Alright, I'm gonna sell off the stick. They didn't get me much in the way of cash, but uh, item lineup ex. Oh, look at this. We got like all this other stuff here now. Okay. A butterfly knife. Oh, that sounds exciting, but I'm not gonna buy it at the moment. And we got these silly, silly swords as well. And an iron hammer. Well, <laughs> shotguns. What the hell? Brass knuckles. Oh, that's cool. Wow, we got all sorts of crazy. Like this lighter works like a handy little flamethrower. Cool. We got tons of cool stuff. Wow. Like I'm. Kali sticks get their own. Segment? You gotta be kidding me! <laughs> Handguns. It's just a model gun. Binding. Oh, it's stuff that you equip? Okay, cool. Mail? Wow, I'm... This stuff is kind of crazy. Okay, so contact lenses are just like a defensive item. Interesting. They're, they don't seem to give me a much of a bonus, and I can't equip them on top of the other items, I don't think. So I think I will just... Sell that off. Uh, Stone of Enduring. There, I... I can't believe how involved... This is like a straight-up RPG at the moment. Like... You know, the, the, um... The, like, um... Action, the fisticuffs action of this game is the gameplay hype that I've gotten the most of. Apart from all the side quests, like, minigame stuff. So I had the impression that this was, like, you know, a beat-em-up game. Of course, beat em ups do have equipable items. I'm, I, I, I'm not gonna fight you on that, but like, I don't feel like it's ever been this involved, and I didn't think that Yakuza would be this involved with that stuff. It's kind of nuts. The the like stat boost items and the inventory and stuff. I, that, that was crazy to me. That selection of like items. This this game really. Never fails to amaze me, really. Okay, next up. Let's go with the Ganges Delta. Let's go. Yeah. Travel can be dangerous. Oh, my. Oh, yeah, we can... Oh, we got to select from here where we want to go. Okay, this small village near the Ganges River is a good place to acquire handmade pole-type weapons. Cool. Dual poles sound exciting. I'm okay with that. Let's, let's see. Who do we get for this? A long-haul fisherman? Okay. Another backpacker. Wow, this guy gets all over the place. A weapons fanatic. Okay. He's got the best chance for some wooden collie sticks, which again, get their own segment. <laughs> Another ex-mob guy. Wow, this ex-mob guy really wants a piece of the action, doesn't he? Uh, I want to send the weapons fanatic. What's his story? There's a story somewhere, right? There we go. A young but extremely knowledgeable about weapons and gear. He creates his own designs as well, some of which have found their way to the black market. Rumored to have a twin brother. Carries a very large bag. Alright, weapons fanatic. Do be proud, sir. I can't think of a funny character who's a weapons fanatic. After William Regal and Takeshi. Like, I don't know. The guy from the... Was it Deadliest Weapons? Was that a Discovery documentary? I guess that guy. I'm actually, I don't know if I'm ever gonna repair stuff because I get so many weapons by the looks of it. Doesn't seem, I don't know. 
prudent to repair it. I could have repaired my knife, you see. But I'm actually gonna be a dumb guy and not do that. Oh yeah, I let's see. Are the gauntlets gear? They aren't. That's a problem. I don't know. I don't know. One of these two items, they're both good. I'm just not- I'm gonna stick with the sprite belt. Oh my, that's a uh, Mr. Shakedown. Let's see if I can definitely dodge him. I did dodge him and definitely might I add. Should I fight him just because I don't have like much money on me at the moment and I got the freaking wallet? Just do that maybe? I don't know. Should I have a go? You guys want to see me have a go at the, this guy? Let us have a quick go. Hey, you with the eye patch. Eh? Give me your money. What? Are you trying to shake me down? Yes, I'm getting too famous around here for my own good. You're famous? Can I get your autograph? Uh, write my name on it too. Naoya Kawahashi. That guy's head looks too small for his body. He looks... Hmm. So you can brag to folks back home you met someone famous you never even heard of. Don't you laugh at me. You don't know who I am either. My crew's 25,000 guys strong, so you better show some respect. Yeah, cool story, bro. But if it were true, your little gang would rival the Tojo clan in size. I ain't buying it. I can't believe someone used the phrase cool story, bro, in this game. I'm not lying. I've got a real reputation back home. All right, if you say so. So why are you here on your own? The other 24,999 guys run out of gas on the way? I'm a lone wolf, that's all. A lone wolf with 25,000 friends to comfort you when you get a little lonely? What's with all these questions? I'm just here in town to have some fun. But I need cash for that, you know. What? You didn't bring any money? <laughs> Why do that when there's plenty of it here? So you're all just a kid from the sticks who came to the city for a good time and you're beating folks up for play money. He had a way like lower voice than I expected from just, just such a big guy actually. Hmm. I, actually I just realized what this character reminds me of. It reminds me of um, a Game Grumps character. Dinkles the buff nerd actually. He looks like he's about to call me a polynigmion. <laughs> I probably gave him a bit of a wrong voice, but whatever, we're committed. You picked on the wrong city slicker, though. Your little Sotenbori Grand Circle tour is over. You don't want to give me your money without a fight? That's fine by me. Okay, Kawahashi, let's see. Whoa! There we go. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, I lost my dagger. Rather ran out. Where's my... There it is. Ooh, ooh you are a big guy. Ugh! Ow! That didn't kill me. Cool. Ow. Okay, this uh, this isn't working out, this... Uh, this baseball's too slow, you know? No! I went too long with my combo. Damn! And I only got like a fifth of his health. Hmm. He's not supposed to be easy, I'll give you that much. Holy smokes, he's stupid strong. Thanks, loser. Damn it, I busted my ass to earn that money. What do I care? If you want it back, you're welcome to come back and try the same thing on me. Now, where should I spend your hard earned cash? At a pachinko parlor? Or maybe I should treat myself to some sweet time with some sweet ass at a cabaret. Alright. My precious moolah! I can't let this slide. I gotta beef up and get it back from him. With interest. I was doing... Apart from the damage output I was doing okay, I feel. So... Let's see, what's my plan now? Is, am I still really hurt? I am. Let's go down to this uh, food place right here. Zuboroya was the name? 
I think I if I read it on the map correctly. What do you sell? 